Good morning, everyone. Hello, and welcome to What's New Wednesday at Kimberbell. How are you doing this morning? Hope things are going really, really well for you wherever you are. If you are watching this on the or listening to this, I should say on the podcast, you are listening to uh, Machine Embroidery with Kimberbell. But if you are watching this on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, you're watching What's New Wednesday. And today is Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. We have lots to talk about. So let's go ahead and get started. But first, who do we have with me this morning? Looks like Donna from Estero, Florida, and Diane from Ontario, Canada. Good morning, Bernadette from Schaumburg, Illinois, and Deidre, also from North Carolina. And Debbie says, wow, a lot of early birds today. Yeah, no kidding. I love it. Um, hi, Melody from Ohio, and Robin, also from Ohio, Cinnerberg, Ohio. Um, Eddie from Michigan, and Mindy from Arizona. Arizona. Good morning, Carla from Wisconsin and Lori from Forest, Virginia. I guess it's probably afternoon out in both of your neck of the woods. Um, hi, Bonnie from, uh, oh yeah, from what? From Virginia and Deborah from Las Vegas, Nevada. We've got you coming from all over. It's always so good to see that. It's always fun to have you chime in and tell me where you're from because Wow, it's kind of cool to be able to connect like this every week, right? Oh my gosh. Well, lots to talk about. Again, I want to welcome those people on Instagram who are watching this because it is a new platform for us as far as uh, video content, I guess I should say live video content. So big welcome, big shout out to you guys over there. But wherever you're watching, thank you for being here today. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump right in with a little bit of Sew and Tell with Kimberbell, shall we? Let's do it. All righty, there's per two particular products um, that I want to spotlight today um, that you guys are making. And the first one being Quilting Through the Seasons. <gasps> oh, Quilting Through the Seasons Ladder Quilt. Are you loving it? Yeah, these people are. Let's see what Ronnie said. Uh, finish the Quilting Through the Seasons Ladder Quilt Spring Edition. It was a lot of fun. I will complete the other season embellishments when the season is closer. On to the April mini, Kimberbell mini quilt. Okay, I love that attitude. I love that idea that, you know what? I've got my spring up now. I'm going to set it aside, work on maybe some other projects, Kimberbell projects maybe. And then as the new season comes up closer, I'm going to then do that one. That's a great way to think about that quilt because as the name entails, it's through the seasons. So you have an entire year to have fun with that quilt. You make the base once, and you add on the different embellishments for the different seasons. Now, she also continued with a different post, Ronnie, she, and I loved this, and I thought it was a great idea for all of us who might be handy ourselves. Uh, she says, got the base quilt completed of quilting through the seasons. Now for all the seasonal embellishments, my hubby made the hanger. Look at that. That is awesome. Way to go, Ronnie's husband, hubby. Thank you for sharing that. That's a really fun way to display it. So whether you put it on the wall itself, just directly on the wall, whether you hang it on a ladder or you put something like that, that Ronnie's hus hubby did, I think all of those are really great ideas. You could also take like a little mini curtain rod, put that up and then, you know, you've got the little hooks on the curtain rod, hang it up from the curtain rod. Lots of fun uh, ways to display quilting through the seasons. All right, this one comes from Stacy. She says, what a happy feeling. I'm done with all the embroidery parts and tomorrow she's going to put it up with all the flowers uh, together and hang it up. She says it was a lot of work, but I'm happy with it. She loves it. Uh, she says she's going to take the rest of the week off and just rest. Yeah, I don't blame you, Stacy. But wow, look what an accomplishment that is. As you can see there, all the different parts are interchangeable with Velcro. I've seen some people use even magnets to put those interchangeable pieces on there. And it looks beautiful in the end, doesn't it? Mm, so many possibilities with this one. 
I love seeing that you guys are getting it done. Now, this one comes from Sharon. And I thought, Sharon, you had a brilliant idea here with this. Um, with the picture frames, this is all part of Quilting Through the Seasons quilt. Um, but she personalized it by doing this. She says, is anyone else having a blast with the picture frames with Quilting Through the Seasons? The ideas just keep popping in my head. Quilting Through the Seasons is a wealth of goodness that you don't want to miss. I am in my glory. Gosh, Sharon, uh, Sharon, that makes me happy. She says, I lay in bed at night and can't stop thinking of the possibilities. These frames are just unbelievably beautiful. They really are, aren't they, Sharon? Yeah, so you embroider these frames. It's part of the gallery wall that's part of the quilt, right? And we have different designs for the different seasons that go in the frames, and it's very interchangeable. But here she is putting together, she printed some family pictures. Let's see, even one of her little pup. And she put that in the frame. And I just think that is such a fun idea. She just used some printable sheets that you can put through an inkjet printer. And look right there, you've got personalized frames. You know, you could take that idea and run with it, right, Sharon? I think you will uh, um, do that because, you know, you're dreaming of this, right? But, like, think about when Christmas comes around or winter comes around and you could put some holiday pictures of your family in those little mini frames. So fun. Lots of possibilities, you guys. Don't be overwhelmed by this. I know it feels... Like, oh, there's a lot to do with it. But you just take one season at a time, my friends, and you'll have it done in no time at all. This is the product you're looking for. Wherever Kimberbell products are sold online and in stores, this is what it is. It's a book. And yes, it's 156 pages long. But that's because, again, this is an entire year's worth of fun that you can have and you know the directions are not going to leave anything out very detailed step-by-step -step instructions therefore the lengthy book it's awesome and i hope that you'll join in on the fun and and see this as a way to really go you know what i accomplished something amazing with my embroidery machine i think you're going to feel that way with quilting through the seasons so way to go in fact Speaking of that, before we go on to the next part of Sew and Tell, since I'm talking about quilting through the seasons, I'm going to show you a little reel to get you even more pumped. It's just a few seconds off. Let's take a look. And I know it's going to be... Isn't it so pretty? Ooh. I'm just loving it. And I know you are too. Thank you for sharing your pictures. Keep them coming. All right. The second thing that you guys have been working on are actually all kinds of projects that are being finished with the use of Kimberbell's clear blue tile system, which means you can do your background quilting on your home embroidery machine. Oh, isn't that amazing, right? Let's see what people are doing with those clear blue tiles. Like Diane, she says, I've used clear blue tiles for smaller projects like table runners and wall hangings, but this week I challenged myself to do a large quilt. She used the magnetic hoop and then she's going into, you can read that on the Bellas and Fellas, but you can see there that she took a design, this was from So Kind of Wonderful, and she quilted it. Isn't that beautiful? Let's take an um, even more up close look. It's all quilted on her home embroidery machine, and she can do that quickly and easily with the use of clear blue tiles and Kimberbell's background quilting designs. Mm, I love it. Okay, let's see someone else who took a project to the finish line by doing it. This is Andrea. She says she used clear blue tiles on this 40 inch square wall hanging, my largest project so far using clear blue tiles. Let's take a look at that embroidery there, that background quilting. Does that not look like she took it to a long arm? Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Way to go, Andrea. Thank you for sharing that with us. Here's a few more. This one comes from Anne. She says, love the clear blue tiles. She finally finished this quilt. As you can see, these quilts are not Kimberbell quilts. 
there are quilts that are are pieced and uh, made by you, but then finished off on your home embroidery machine with our system. It's so awesome. It pays for itself over and over and over again, doesn't it? Look at the little bumblebees in that quilting. Mm, so cute. And one more. This one comes from Betsy. She says, I quilted my first quilt using Kimberbell's clear blue tiles. This is a 55 inch square quilt I made for my new granddaughter. It turned out beautifully and your swirl pattern was perfect. Thank you for making it so easy and fun. Betsy, you have no idea. That is music to my ears when I see posts like that or to my eyes, I should say, right? There you go that background quilting. This is the product you're looking for. It's Kimberbell's Clear Blue Tiles. The essential set has everything you need, the instructions, the USB with more background quilting files. Um, the, of course, the tiles themselves, that is the essential set. Then there's an expansion set for a little bit larger of hoops. And then another set is coming out. We're going to be talking about it here in a, a week or two on, on uh, What's New Wednesday. But that is called Expansion Set 2. And that is for even larger hoops. But no matter which set you choose, you can all, and no matter what hoop size you have, you can use clear blue tiles on them, which is awesome. Okay. And our designs, I should say. All right, so speaking of background quilting designs, we have some new ones available. Uh, just got listed today. Let's take a look at those. We've got two new ones, um, and I think they're perfect for this time of year, right? In fact, when I saw these, I went, oh, okay. I know immediately what I'm going to do with it. Let me show you the, pic the images, and now I want you to think, what am I going to do with that? Hmm, I got some ideas. Here we go, gardening, right? Ah, the cute radish and the cucumber and the onion and all the tools and the gloves, the peas. Isn't that a fun little all over background quilting design for clear blue tiles? You wanna see what else is new? Okay, this one, when I squealed. Yes, you know when Kim goes, ah! <laughs> it's a big deal. Wait till you see it, it's the border. It's a new border design, perfect for spring or summer, or if you love gardening, or if you love gnomes, or you love mushrooms, look at this. Mm. Look at that, my friends. How adorable. If you're thinking this is just too cute for words, give me a heart, give me a thumbs up, give me something, <laughs> because it is truly too cute for words. In fact, not only do you get uh, the <laughs> radishing, oh yes, oh yes, for sure. Um, let me show you another image here so that you can see you actually on that download get two border designs. You get the little mushrooms design in a one inch and two inch width, and then you've got all the gnomes and the other mushrooms um, in a three, four, five, and six inch width. What can you see doing with that? <laughs> Immediately, my mind went to instant tea towel cuteness, right? I can picture that border design along the hem, the bottom hem of a tea towel, okay? That right there was an immediate thought. I'm like, I need a spring tea towel. I could put that little mushroom border across that. That was that was initial thought. And then I immediately went to table topper because I think what I could do or would do is just take one simple fabric, one background fabric. I don't even have to piece it, right? Because the quilting itself is going to be so gorgeous. It's going to bring out the spring feeling, right? So if I did the center of that, with the garden design, the center of that table topper with the garden design, just on a plain piece of fabric, okay? Maybe, I don't know, I might do like a grassy green fabric. And then the, out, the outer border of that, I could use the mushroom gnome design with maybe like a pink fabric. Wouldn't that be the cutest table topper? Ah! Okay, yeah, Nancy, she says, oh, the gnomes too, yeah. When that came through, our 
product development process, I went, oh my gosh, whoever designed that at Kimber Bell, there's a few that could have done that, did a phenomenal job. So bravo. I'm so excited. Those two are now available and we'll put the links in the comments as well as in the show notes. All right. Now, uh, besides background quilting, we do have another spring vault uh, item. Uh, perfect again for this time of the year and it is from one of our original series of Kimberbell's bench pillows and it's called welcome spring kind of appropriate right welcome spring and yeah I'm ready for it are you so look at that it's got some dimensional flowers that you're going to learn how to make some uh, you know a little dimensional yo-yo there you're going to learn how to ruche not on your burn machine but you'll be ruching um one of those flowers if you wanted, you could just put an artificial flower on there, but how cute is that ruching, right? It's the orange one you see there. The umbrella, the rain boots, you name it. And then the rest of it is all done on that embroidery machine. And of course, now because you could use clear blue tiles for background quilting, you literally could get it done. You could get it done by Monday. I'm telling you that. Start today. You could get it done by tomorrow if you really wanted to. Give yourself a few days, right? Welcome spring. I absolutely adore this pillow. The rain boots, you can't go wrong. You know, what if you did yellow polka dotted rain boots? Just saying that would be really, really cute <laughs> on there, right? All right. So that's brand new in the vault. You can download it right away. You will need either a six by 10 hoop or either an eight by 12 or nine by 14. Either one will work. You just may have a few more hoopings with a, a less size hoop. So check it out. All right. Uh, next, digital dealer exclusives. Just checking off our list here of what's new at Kimberbell. We have a new month right around the corner. Where did March go? I don't know. <laughs> But we have a new month of digital dealer exclusives. And if you are participating in a shop currently, or you're still looking for a shop to get these designs from, it's not too late. You can reach the, reach out to them and say, hey, I'd love to do Kimberbell's DDE program, digital dealer exclusives. Look what this next month entails. How cute is that? This one is called the Charming Roll-Up Pouch. It comes in two different options, uh, optional sizes for you. So you can see there the small one actually is done in a 5x7 hoop. And then you just roll it right up. And then the large one, I think, is an 8x12 eight, eight hoop. Okay. And I love, I'll bring the actual one next week. I forgot it at the office for today, but it has some background quilting on it. It's got a zipper pouch on the end um, with the cutest little lace zipper. And then it says, she lived the life. Let's see. She lived the life she imagined right across the top. Do you see that there? Oh, I love it. So Think little, you know, all kinds of tools for your creative hobbies, a makeup case, whatever, a candy stash, <laughs> whatever. It's a really cute uh, little bag. And I absolutely love the addition of having the zipper pouch on the end. Do you see that where we tuck some stuff in there? Yeah, super cute. So if you want that design, reach out to a shop participating in digital dealer exclusives and we'll give you a link to help you find one that is. All right. Okay. So next on your list. <laughs> yes, I got my list here. Um, in case you missed last week's episode of Inside the Hoop. Or if you're wondering, what is Inside the Hoop, Kim? Inside the Hoop is a brand new, semi-new program um, that myself and Deanna and Ginger um, do every Thursday. Every Thursday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. How many of you guys, let me know in the comments, have you, have you uh, watched yet? Have you, have you seen an episode of Inside the Hoop? We just started a second round, a second season, so to speak, uh, of Inside the Hoop. And uh, we're, we're super pumped for it. The first week we did some 
different um, challenges between myself, Deanna, and Ginger on what we could pull from the quilting through the seasons and make it new again with something different, right? And oh, yeah, you guys are watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please share it with your friends too. We would be so, so grateful. But, um, and then last week we actually talked about, let me pull it up here. We talked about the biggest myth, myths <laughs> and misconceptions. We did some myth busting, I should say, on machine embroidery. Okay, what people think of machine embroidery? Is it too hard? Is it not? Is it, you know, what can I do with an embroidery machine? And yada, 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 all the things. Is this hobby for me? I think it is. I think you would agree. And I would love to get your take on that too. So we will put the, the episode link here. So in case you missed it, you can go back and watch. It's never too late. It's always recorded. Um, and I, 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 we want to hear from you. You know, what are the biggest myths and misconceptions? This is not the embroidery that you might think it is. Some people might be like, uh, machine embroidery. And uh, I don't, I don't think that's for me, but maybe they just don't know the possibilities with it. And we, we kind of break it down in last week's episode. So that was really fun. Okay. And then tomorrow we have another brand new episode again, 10 a.m. Mountain time. We hope you'll join us. And this one I'm especially excited about because it is a, a little bit more um, in, inspirational episode, if you will, on some fun things that you can do with the brand new rope bowls from Kimberbell. Okay. And the three of us each took a design um, for a rope bowl from Kimberbell. And we said, oh, this is how we would gift it. And we show you all kinds of fun gift giving ideas with those rope bowls as well. So I hope you'll join us tomorrow for Inside the Hoop, where we'll talk about that very thing that everybody's doing right now. I'm telling you, you're loving it. You're loving the method we use for it. We'll talk all about that stuff tomorrow's Inside the Hoop. I'm going to give you a little teaser image of the one I did because I'm just so excited. I actually just gifted it to the little guy. <laughs> Look at that. Ah! Love you to the moon and back is the design I used. Okay. It's for my great nephew that was just recently born a few months ago. And so anyway. There it is. But you'll want to tune in to hear a little bit more about that, what's in it, and what's all involved with making a rope bowl. And then also, you're going to love what Deanna and Ginger did with theirs. <sighs> I won't tell you the theme of each of theirs, but it's super cute. And it's very timely for this time of year. So please join us for that. All right? Okay. Um, next a brand new product release that comes out in just two weeks okay it actually is going to start shipping to shops next week um on uh, shops that are on our auto ship program it's start going to start trickling out there right and then um in two weeks it's open to the general public we could not be more excited about a new product called one hoop wonders have you heard about it one Hoop Wonders. This is the book that you're going to be looking for. One Hoop Wonders, Volume 1 for Machine Embroidery. Okay. It says, create cozy quilts with five simple repeatable appliques. That's the whole idea, right? If it's a One Hoop Wonder, that means there's no double hooping. And it means that you can get it done quick and fast and easy. You can... It ha comes in two sizes and you can finish it off. They're just repeatable blocks that you can finish off into quilts. And in particular, I would say more like even a wall hanging or even a cuddle quilt. So this would be the perfect type of quilt if you want to make a baby quilt, a throw quilt, a lap quilt. Um, if you want to put like something like minky or cuddle on the back of it so it's nice and cozy. This is that type of quilt. You know Kimberbell is probably best known for our quilts with all the extra embellishments. And we love that. 
There's no doubt about that. But sometimes you want just the type of quilt you can wrap yourself up in, right? So that is the perfect, uh, this is the perfect product for that very thing. I'm going to show you a little reel about it. I'm going to show you some parts of the book that I think you're going to be very interested in. Then I'm going to show you the actual quilts that we made. And then we're going to have a giveaway. All right. S stay with me. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look at that little reel. This is called One Hoop Wonders, and it is coming out very, very, very soon. I'm a new soul. I can do this dream. We're hoping I can learn a be that to give and take. Okay. You saw little snapshots, literally, right? Of One Hoop Wonders. Um, maybe you've seen it on our website. We've been talking about it. We've been talking about on social media. A lot of shops are taking pre-orders for that kind of thing. It's just really, really fun. Okay. And like I said, if you want something that is just quick and easy, this is it. So basically what it comes down to is that there's five different designs in here and five different layouts to choose from. All right. So I'm going to open this up for you right here. This is my copy. So I've actually already opened it up here. Um, you're going to get the design CD that has obviously the designs on them, right? <laughs> um, the, the, quilt, the, mm, the embroidery files for those designs. And there's five different ones to choose from. So you see, you've got, uh, the orange slice right here, I, sh I should say sl a slice of sweetness. It's like a citrus slice. I'm going to show you the actual ones here in a moment. A pumpkin, this arrow, this set of arrows, which makes it uh, a really fun kind of more masculine style quilt. This rainbow and a Christmas tree. All right. So I'm going to open this up. I'm not going to walk you through the whole book. <laughs> I promise. But here, I want you to see the getting started pages that it really is as simple as four, like this four step process. All right. So the first step, it says choose a hoop size. Okay. Do you have a five by seven hoop? Yes, you can do this. But if you have an eight by eight hoop, yes, you can do this. And both of them are going to look beautiful. There, again, there's no double hoopings here. So even if you have a smaller size hoop, it's just going to be a little bit smaller in design. If you have a larger hoop, like an eight by eight, eight by 12, that kind of thing, you would choose, you could choose that one. Okay. So you get the two different sizes. All right. Then the second step, you choose a quilt template. Okay. There's five different layouts to choose from. Template one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. It's kind of like a choose your own adventure kind of thing, right? Then the third step is you choose the size of quilt that you want. Do I want like a smaller wall hanging and that also makes like a baby size quilt? Then I'm going to choose the 38 by 38 layout. Do I want a larger wall hanging or a larger lap size quilt? You would choose the 58 by 58. No matter which one you choose, all there's charts for how much fabric you would use. Hey, if you wanted to make a bed size quilt with these things, you would just double your fabric on in either one of those, right? And then finally, the most fun part is the fourth one is to choose the applique design. And as you can see there, there's the five different choices. Now, what's even cooler about that is well, we hear you, right? We listen and we know that you love options when it comes to what the finishing stitch is around an applique design. So no matter which applique design you choose, you have two options as well, no matter size or, or design. You have two options for finishing it. You can either finish it with a traditional satin stitch, like you see there, or you can finish it with a decorative stitch, like there. You get both in the same product, okay? So some people might think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am a decorative stitch kind of girl. It's probably going to stitch out a little bit faster than a satin stitch as well. 
But maybe you're thinking, no, I really, I love myself a satin stitch. And if you do, you've got options, right? Now, what's also cool about this is that instead of doing your background quilting behind your applique block, like we normally do with block by block quilting, this, you, you could do that. Absolutely. But this really is the idea behind it is that you are just stitching out these designs one after the other onto to fabric, right? And then you piece your whole quilt together just like you normally would. And now you've created a quilt sandwich that you can use clear blue tiles or take it to a long armor or quilt it on your sewing machine. All of it's good, right? to quilt over the entire thing like this. Oh, look how beautiful that is, okay? So you know there's gonna be background quilting designs that are optional, of course, to do that. But do you notice something else about these designs? Look at that, look at that lemon and the leaves and the citrus all over it. Do you notice something? They're larger in scale. That's right. We're also going to have larger scale background quilting designs available for you. So there's small scale designs. There's large scale designs. We've got it all for you at Kimberbell, right? And so that's really going to make it look even more so like you took it to a professional long armor to have finished. Look at that. Okay, do you see those lemons and leaves? Oh yes, we're gonna we're not gonna go into the background quilting designs today. I'm gonna save that probably for next week, but just know all of that's gonna be available. You certainly could do regular scale designs that you've always done at Kimberbell um, on these, but I think you're also gonna love the option of having larger scale designs. Okay, so that is one of the quilts, and isn't that cute? I actually, I want to do this one in um, maybe some pinks too, kind of make a like a grapefruit. I don't know. We'll see. So there's some orange slices, some lime slices. You can have some lemon slices. So darling, right? Kind of a fun little change um, for Kimberbell, don't you think? Um, again, we love the extra stuff, but it's fun to try something a little different too. Now, notice that was the satin stitch, right? And that was some lemon background quilting. But I want to show you another version of this that we did. Because this also is the, um, the decorative stitch. Okay, do you see that? There we go. There's the decorative stitch on there. So both options look beautiful, right? It's totally up to you. And then the other cool thing is that, do you see this background quilting? It's larger in scale, but it's a nice big swirl. A swirl that would go with any theme. Well, guess what? That swirl design is included as part of this project book, okay? So, You'll not only get <laughs> the book with all the instructions, right? Step-by-step -step instructions, the designs and, and such. But you'll also get a larger scale um, swirl design that can be used on anything. All right. So Dawn says swirls are beautiful. Yes, they really are. And they love it. Okay. So this was the citrus design I showed you. Let's take a look at the rainbow design. I'm going to show you again both options here. There it is with a satin stitch. How cute is that? Ooh. This, this is kind of that boho feel, especially if you put it in like tans and mustards and browns. That would be really cute too. And then here is the decorative stitch option. I also wanted to show you the difference between the two sizes, whether you use a five by seven or an eight by eight hoop, you're getting both sizes, but there you can see side by side, one's just a little bit smaller than the other, okay? Um, with that uh, being said about the rainbow, how about a look at a rainbow quilt? Uh, okay, 
So wouldn't this be the sweetest little baby quilt to give someone? And do you see the large scale background quilting slides on that? Yeah, that will be optional. Okay, that will be a separate purchase option uh, coming in the next week or two. But there's rainbows and clouds. Oh, there we go. That's a nice look to it. All right. So that is um, one of them. There is, oh, I didn't bring the Christmas tree quilt, but we did it in reds and greens, of course. And here you can see the satin stitch option versus a decorative stitch option. You get both and in two sizes, okay? How about making a pumpkin patch quilt? I think, let's see, I'm pretty sure there's a picture in here of the pumpkin patch quilt we did because it is so pretty. Look at that. Ooh, I love it. Okay. Oh, do you see the background quilting on that one? Mm -hmm. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Yes, Sherry says, so this is quilted after as opposed to block by block. Yes, quilted after. You could do block by block. block. I mean, yes, you could. But the idea behind this is that it feels and looks more like you took it to a long armor and you had the whole thing quilted all at one time, but you did it on your embroidery machine, which is kind of fun. Okay, look how cute those pumpkins are. Oh, so there you can see the two different sizes. And one is done with a satin stitch with a bean stitch on top for decoration. And then one is a decorative stitch. You can see that better there. Oh, there we go. I want to do a pumpkin patch quilt. Yep, I do. <laughs> and then finally, the fifth one, um, like I said, this is a little bit more masculine uh, in nature here. Um, it's just, it's something that can be used for just about anything as well. I love it. It's just these simple arrows. There it is in a decorative stitch. There it is in a satin stitch. They come in both sizes, both options. Look at this quilt. And look at the background quilting. Oh my goodness. Terry says, so many ideas in my head for the one block wonder. Yeah. One who wonders. We're pretty stoked about it. Do you love that background quilting of those arrows? Doesn't that look like that was done on a long arm machine? Mm-hmm. Those larger scales, I'm telling you, we're going to talk a lot more about it here in the coming weeks. But it's just fantastic. And look at the back. Oh my goodness. I absolutely adore this one. Okay. Now the other cool thing is, is that you guys have been asking for a long time <laughs> for larger sizes of Kimberbell's project batting. We know we wanted it too. And it's finally happening. Hallelujah. So what's really cool about this is remember those two sizes of, uh, quilts when you say and it says choose a quilt size and you have this one or this one we have project batting coming out that will be in shops that are those sizes they're perfect for those sizes so a 38 by 38 you would be buying a 40 by 40 uh Kimberbell project batting bag and then um we also have a 60 by 60 project batting piece so now you don't have to piece your batting together. Now, if you wanted to, you know, make a larger quilt, yeah, you would piece it together. Um, but to do these simple, either wall quilts, wall quilt, wall hangings, lap quilts, baby quilts, that kind of thing, throw quilts, um, it's all packaged together. One who wonders. <laughs> Yay, Diane, thank you. She says, I love all the different options to choose from in One Who Wonders. Thank you for showing them all. You are welcome. <laughs> Gail. Larger size batting, it's an Easter miracle. Thank you, Kimberbell. <laughs> You're welcome, Gail. <laughs> I know. A lot of people have wanted it. <laughs> Linda says her project batting is on order. Yes. Maxine says, love the large scale quilting. The arrows are great. <laughs> Lulu says, hi, Lulu. She says, I need those arrows for a baby boy's quilt I'm working on. Oh, it's coming very, very, very soon really thrilled about it. Gosh, this has been, you know, we do things like 
a year in advance, at least. This has been a long time coming, and I'm so excited for you to uh, be able to get it. And like I said, it's kind of like I said, choose your own adventure. You, you make those four choices, boom, and you've got a quilt in no time at all. We'll walk you through all of it. And simple applique, you gotta love it, right? All right, so that is One Hoop Wonders. It's coming very, very, very soon. Um, like I said, I believe it starts shipping out next week um, to our auto ship shops, which means I get it a little bit early. And then um, it will be available to everyone um, April 10th, I believe. Okay. All right. So what do you guys think? Yeah, Jennifer's saying she's loving these bigger, bigger quilts. Me too. Me too. Sometimes you just, you don't want to have to think. <laughs> Am I right? You don't want to have to be like, oh my gosh, how, okay, when am I going to cut that size at, and how much fabric do I need, and yada, yada, yada. No, you just cut out all your blocks all at the same time, all the same size, you hoop it, there's no double hooping like I said, and in no time at all, you're going to put together a really darling quilt. In fact, I have to show you. I think I still have it here on my computer. A little reel, a video <laughs> of this little boy whose grandmother made him that quilt. Let me see, because I, I think it's so cute. Okay, I think this is it. Let's take a look. I see the crystal raindrops fall And the beauty of it all Is when the sun comes shining through Isn't that cute? A real hero is a grandma with an embroidery machine, right? Or a mom or father or grandpa, you name it. <laughs> Sister with an embroidery machine. Yeah. Yeah. He was, he, that little kid is so cute. All right, everyone. So that is today's show, One Hoop Wonder. So I've got a question for you because I think a lot of you may just want to win this. Let me show you an image here and we'll pull out a few of those threads here. How many of you would love to win 20, 20 spools of thread from Glide? This is um, absolutely gorgeous thread. It's what I use. I love it. Quilting Through the Seasons is our brand new quilt. We talked a lot about it um, in Sew so and Tell today. And Glide has put together a 20 spool thread kit with the most gorgeous colors that will go way beyond the seasons, right? I'm gonna pull a couple of them up here. You gotta see. They're absolutely beautiful. And uh, look at that purple. You need all the shades, right? The darker shade, the lighter shade, the grays, the blues, you name it. Let me pull it some more. Someone is going to get this. Okay, hold on. You gotta see. Some of these stunning colors. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Look at that. Here we go. This one, oh, this one is one of my favorites. It's called Taffy. I love it. And this one is called Celery. Go figure. There we go. <laughs> so it's all there for you. There's there's 20 different ones. And myself and Glide want you to have it, want to give it away. So here's how you enter. It's really simple. On Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, wherever this video is, in the same thread as the video, so in the comment section of where you are watching this video, all you have to do is this. Super simple. Let me pull up the question. Which one hoop wonder caught your eye? Which one hoop wonder caught your eye? Let me know in the comments. Was it, we'll pull this up again. Was it the uh, slice of, oh, you know what? I think I have images of these here. Let me pull it up. Was it the slice of sweetness? Oh, here we go. Was it slice of sweetness? <laughs> Was it the arrows? Was it the Christmas trees? The pumpkins? Or the rainbows? 
which one caught your eye this is the brand new one hoop wonders oh so so darling look at that lots of happy people making those projects and using those projects right which one caught your eye you can post in any of those places instagram facebook youtube within the thread of the video let us know and on friday morning as always we will post the winners on our main kimberbell facebook page all right so chime in in the comments let us know share this with a friend so maybe they have a chance to win maybe that friend will split it with you who knows <laughs> right <laughs> let them know that um one hoof wonders is coming out very very soon from kimberbell and it's the perfect wall quilt cuddle quilt you name it okay I've had people ask before, can you use clear blue tiles with like a cuddle fabric, a minky fabric, that kind of thing, like on the back of it? The answer is yes, absolutely. We've done it ourselves at Kimberbell. We tested it all out. Um, it works beautifully. We've seen other people do it. Um, so yeah, absolutely, you can do it. Oh, so fun. You guys are loving it. Cindy says, the pumpkins caught my eye first. I know there I I can just picture the pumpkin fabric now can't you I think I'm gonna go with like more like blacks and creams and browns and kind of more earth tones on that I'm really excited really excited about that Holly she says a slice of sweetness but I love all of them oh yes the slice of sweetness it's perfect for this time of year, isn't it? As we're thinking more spring and slash summer. Absolutely. All right. Kim says the slice of sweetness is my favorite. It reminds me of my childhood. Really? I love that. I love when designs resonate with people and, and take them right back to childhood. That's awesome. Okay. Ellen, the one who wonder I love is the Christmas trees. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Me too. So, same with Jessica. The tree squares would go well with a bear square for a cabin quilt. 100% yes, Jessica. I love that idea. There is, There are so many possibilities, you guys. Yes, we're going to give you some layout ideas, but even within those layout ideas, you could put together even more blocks, pieced blocks to go in between. Be so cute. Absolutely. I love, 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 love hearing what you guys think. All right, the rainbows, the rainbows, lots of people loving the rainbows, the arrows. Well, we hope you love it all, right? <laughs> oh, Cindy, she says, I'm making the rainbow one for my great niece, Christmas trees for my daughter, and pumpkins for me. Yes, you are getting a whole lot of use. So you're going to get a whole lot of use out of that. We love it. All right. Okay, everyone. Well, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's always fun to be with you, to share with you what's new, and to inspire you to try something new. Um, join me every Wednesday for What's New Wednesday. I really appreciate your time and you being here. If you can't watch it live, you can always watch it a little bit later. It's always uh, available to you on those platforms. And then don't forget, Inside the Hoop tomorrow with myself, Deanna, and Ginger. We're going to be talking rope bowls, how to make them or, you know, what they're all about, but also how to gift them. I think you're going to love how Ginger and Deanna gifted theirs. Until then, keep doing what you love, my friends, and keep experiencing the joy of creativity. Bye.